can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the values of a, b, and c given this equation. We have 1 over x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 2 plus c over x minus 1. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this equation, our goal is to solve for the values of A, B, and C. Now, I will present two methods to answer this kind of question. Now, the first one is the algebraic approach. So, this is the usual way. And the second one, this is what we are interested in which is the cover up method or also known as the shortcut for this kind of question and now let's start with our first solution which is using algebraic approach all right now it is given that we have here x plus 2 on the denominator x minus 2 on this denominator and we have x minus 1 on this denominator now, if we factor out x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4, technically speaking, you get x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. So, the denominator on the right-hand side of our equation is already a given for us. Now, you can check those factors if it's not true. Alright, so again, let's move on. So that is the factor of x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Alright, now from here, what we're going to do is to eliminate those denominators. So let's multiply all of this with x plus 2, x minus 2 times x minus 1. Now if we do that, we get something like 1 equals x plus 2, x minus 2, x minus 1 multiplied by the quantity a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 2 plus c over x minus 1. Now if we distribute this to this a, the first term, we cancel out x plus 2. So what we have now is x minus 2 times x minus 1 multiplied by a. And then if we distribute this to the second term, we eliminate x minus 2. So what we have now is b multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And if we distribute this to the third term, we eliminate x minus 1. And what we'll have is x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by c. Alright, so now we have something like... 1 equals a multiplied by x minus 2 times x minus 1, b multiplied by x plus 2 times x minus 1, and c multiplied by x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now we can multiply this binomial. If we multiply this, we get something like x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now the second one, if we multiply this, we get x squared plus x minus 2. And if we multiply this, we get x squared minus 4. So we can have like 1 equals a multiplied by x squared minus 3x plus 2 plus b multiplied by x squared plus x plus minus 2 plus c multiplied by x squared minus 4. Now let's focus on this equation. And then we will use comparison. So the first one is the coefficient of x squared on the left hand side and the right hand side now on the left hand side we have we don't have x squared so the coefficient must be equal to zero but on the right hand side we have now this a plus b plus c because they are all coefficient of x squared so we have zero equals a plus b plus c the next one is the coefficient of x. Now, on the left-hand side, we don't have x, so the coefficient must be equal to 0. But in the right-hand side, we have a multiplied by negative 3, so we have negative 3a right over here. And we have b times x or 1, so we have plus b. And we don't have 
C because we don't have variable x in this factor. Alright, and the last one is the constant term. Now, the constant term on the left-hand side is 1, so definitely 1 equals, we have 2a, we have negative 2b, so we have 2a minus 2b, and we have minus 4c. Now, solving these three equations, we can use elimination method, we can use comparison, we can use substitution, and using those methods, we get that the value of A must be equal to 1 over 12, the value of B is 1 over 4, the value of C is negative 1 third. And that is the values of A, B, and C. Now, we are not interested in this algebraic approach. So, why not? Let's move on to our favorite, which is the shortcut one, and that's called the cover up method. Alright, so using algebraic approach, we get A equals 1, 12, B equals 1 over 4, and C equals 1 over negative 1 over 3. Now, let's proceed to the cover up method. Alright. Using the cover up method, for the meantime, pretend that we don't know the value of A, the value of B, and the value of C. Alright, now, we want to find the value of A. So, let's cover up this B and this C. Alright? And let's cover up the denominator of A on the left-hand side, which is x plus 2. Now, using this denominator, pretend that we don't have a denominator of x plus 2. Now, what you're going to do is to equate this to 0 and solve for the value of x. You can do this on your head, and you get that the value of x must be equal to negative 2, right? Now, what you're going to do is to replace all x with negative 2 on the left-hand side. So this will give us the value of A as follows. We have 1 over this x becomes negative 2 and this x becomes negative 2. How do I get negative 2? In this denominator of A. Now, let's simplify. Negative 2 minus 2, this will give us negative 4. Negative 2 minus 1, this will give us negative 3. Negative 4 times negative 3, this will give us positive 12. And that is the value of A. Here we go. A equals 1 over 12. Now, it is okay for A. Now, how about for the value of B? So, going back to our given equation, we want the value of B, so let's cover A and let's cover the C. And on the left-hand side, let's cover the denominator of B, which is x minus 2. Now, pretend that we don't have a denominator of x minus 2. So, to solve for the value of x, equate this to 0 and solve for the value of x. You can do this in your head, and sure enough, you get that x equals 2. Now, what you're going to do in this 2 is to replace to this x on the left-hand side. So, this will give us the value of b as follows. This x becomes 2, and this x right here becomes 2. So, we have 1 over 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 1. Now, let's simplify. 2 plus 2, this will give us 4. 2 minus 1, this will give us 1. 4 times 1, this will give us 4. And that is the value of the variable b. Here we go. b equals 1 over 4. Alright, and now you can use this method to find the value of c. So again, going back to our original equation, cover up this a and this b. We don't want the value of a and b. And then, let's cover up the denominator of c, which is x minus 1. Now, pretend that we don't have a denominator x minus 1. So what you're going to do is equate this to 0, then solve for the value of x. We get that x equals 1. So again, c equals 1 over this x becomes 1. This x becomes 1. So, 1 over 1 plus 2, multiply by 1 minus 2. Alright, simplify 1 plus 2, this will give us 3. 1 minus negative 2, this will give us negative 1. 3 times negative 1, this will give us negative 3. And that is the value of C, which is 1 over 3, or negative 1 over 3. And here we go. Therefore, using algebraic approach and using cover-up method, we get the same thing. A equals 1 over 12, B equals 1 over 4, C equals negative 1 over 3. And 
that is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.